but you have to take care of all responsibilities and know that they swing it out to a back. One-on-one -on -one tackles in the open field are critical. And if you miss, sometimes you end up on the wrong side of that first down game. This is Brown going up the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, flush to his right. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So, wow, he scrambles right, throws across his body all the way back to the left, but it worked out. Wouldn't you just love to hear the thought process of the offensive coordinators that play unfolded? And I think a lot of it was, no, no, <laughs> no. Nice throw, yeah, man. I nice throw. Good I'd job. also like to hear the quarterback what's going on in his head as that ball leaves his hand. Oh, please let it get yeah. there because otherwise I'm in big trouble. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt a return. The Bucks ready to take over once again. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Don't forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. CD with that last pass, he joined a group of about 50 other men that are over 30,000 career passing yards. So look, he's not at the top, but that's pretty good company. Yeah, it's not the most exclusive fraternity in the NFL, but it's a pretty good one, isn't it? You still have to put some numbers up in order to get in, okay? The secret knock is still there. How about it getting it done? Proud of it. On first and 10, Rich. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Throwing on first down. Rich. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Running right, here's Brown. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, he can be a load to handle off the edge, and he can do it against the pass. Sure, he can do it against the run like he did there. And you mentioned a load. How about having to adjust to his speed as well? Because not only does he bring some pop, he brings some dash as well. A nice play in that situation. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Rich. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They give it to Brown. And he'll be brought down at about... Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Looking to throw, Rich. There's McLaurin, what a catch. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That goes for a gain of 31. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They go with Brown. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. The ball on the 8 still could get a first down technically. Second and 7. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Baker. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. Rich. Out route looking for McLaurin. He's got him. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. To throw on third down. Rich. Buying time to his. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Taking it in from seven yards away. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. A try here for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Washington kick team back out there now as they will from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line and Tampa Bay trots out there now and we don't want to call this desperation time especially in the second quarter but you're you don't down want to we know but well, let me finish okay my bad. And you're down three scores already you've done nothing offensively nothing on the scoreboard that's that's not a good combination i think you now just you called can go. i think you just called a desperation time i, I think did. you did but yeah. let's face it you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game the energy level hasn't been there right from the start we've noticed that they've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line tough sequence there for the offensive line. Well, it gives us a chance to shine a little spotlight on the defensive linemen, on the defensive tackles. They don't normally get a bunch of praise, but it all starts there, doesn't it? If you're going to have a good run defense, they have to hold the point of attack and make plays as they just did there. The Bucks on third down, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. 
They'll run it again with Fournette. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. Right now, I'm just wondering where they turn on offense, Charles. I know we're not in the fourth quarter, but second quarter haven't scored and struggling to move the ball. I don't think they abandoned the run game totally, but maybe you change up your tempos. Maybe you go a little bit faster, try and catch them back on their heels a little bit to try and accomplish what you want to get done. Here's Blake Gillikin now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football second down and three looking to throw rich out of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down on third and short they'll try and pick it up through the air and that is incomplete. Washington going to send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. To throw on second down. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's man. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first down, Rich. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, we could talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. 
So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the lead will stay put at 17. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started out in Texas, NRG Stadium in Houston, where it was the Texans who picked up the victory at home. Camp Akers. Two touchdown runs to lead the way. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. 27-21, your final. And lastly, we'll all be tuned in on Monday night for what should be a great one between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Montez Sweat, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield, sack number 16 on the year. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Second and 14. And he'll just get rid of it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. 
And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. First chance for the Commanders offense now as they head out for their opening series in the second half. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Rich. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. On third down, Rich. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Peters. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Rich slings this deep from McLaurin. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown on a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back -back first down pickups. Second and two. He'll drop to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chase Young, his second sack of the night. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We've still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. 
And a throw right sideline is complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly AWOL in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they're going to move it down inside the 25. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Here's a give to Fournette. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll set up to throw. And he'll take this beyond... They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Montez Sweat able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Cade York on now for the field goal. This from 42 yards out. York able to send this one through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately in the end, the defense holds up and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. And the Washington offense heading out. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Steps away to his left. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. At this point, this offense feels like they can just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end, not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. it off to Brown and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up good job there keeping him to a short gain of course he's coming off a really terrific performance reigning NFC defensive player of the week and I know people get caught up in well if you're the reigning defensive player of the week you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays like you mixed in a few of those but most of the plays are just like we saw there keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Let's go. Operating from the gun. Rich, he finds his man complete. It's man. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? 
at about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards he needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jonathan Allen able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing opened at all, and they swarmed him. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. The Bucks on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. Over the middle, it's complete. And he is going to have a Bucks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Dance into his left. Hit as he throws, he lost the football, it's loose. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now a leaping catch, he's got it. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one goes for 24 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown on the year. And the Buccaneers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, we're able to be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there and they went right down the field. 
and work their way into the end zone. Extra point by York is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guy. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Montez Sweat in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. On third down, Fournette. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him three yards there as that'll... So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming from the right hash. This from 33. York able to send this one through. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's a give to Brown. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Now a throw here, hauled in. 
And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, and this is going to lead to another first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Rich, this to McLaurin out on the left side. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Here's Brown. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hand out to the football and keep the clock ticking. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will get the lead up to seven. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven point game. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. So now the Bucks down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. A possible crippling loss to their playoff status in the ballots, barring a late score. Back to throw now on first down. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Here's a second and seven. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. What looks to be a third and in inches can't be more than a half a foot. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Clock running. The Bucs try to go quickly and get set. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. 
He'll look to throw. Oh, and that nearly ended him. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. He right, forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Commanders have just about sewn up this football game. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And the teams talk it over on their respective sidelines. We take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. We all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win? Show for Washington. It's another win for them. And you wonder if they want a redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14 and 1. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to 9 and 6. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
how I like it. And we grind it every night to make it here. Now it's exciting. See, they just getting cake. They ain't never gonna get no ice. And all we want is chips, ring fingers, looking ice. On day ones, here to dance the beginning. So you know it's only right, that's how we end. Came all the way from losing to winning. Yeah, I did it. But it ain't just me, it's the whole team. Share away.